buttoned up, two days uh, on the water here, up, up here with the Muskie Mayhem Guide Service and Brad Hoppy. Uh, I want to thank Brad for inviting me up and being a part of the uh, the last couple of days. Uh, incredible couple of days on the water with uh, with the, the fish caught as well as the fish seen. Um, day one here, I'd also like to thank Jason and Rick for jumping in the boat and uh, and, and being a part of it. Obviously, I had to have a great time on the boat with those guys uh, each and every time out. Um, two great days on the water uh, and, and you know, really some, some distinct patterns with the fish we caught uh, over the course of the two days. Day one, uh, the story of the day, you know, what was activity around around moonrise and then a second burst of activity uh, around sunset. First fish, we'd uh, moved some fish early, early in the day on some spots, but again, fish just showing themselves uh, a bit sluggish. And as we uh, transitioned into a little bit different structure with uh, some shallower weeds, we, um, we're, moved, we're, we're coming into a, into a moonrise period. And as we moved on to the new structure, moonrise happening, uh, immediately we put two fish in the boat. First fish uh, hit out on a uh, double cowgirl, burned across the top of the weeds, and uh, you know, low 40s inch fish I was able to put into the boat, and we were on our way. First cast, burning across a shallow spot, halfway to the boat, she smoked it. The bait's halfway, you know, T-bone across his mouth, mouthful of cowgirl. Absolutely cool. No follow, no nothing. She just came from the side and just creamed it. Let's dig in here and see what we got. Like you were saying, burning it across the top of this uh, little weed patch here. First cast up on it. She came up from the side and she smoked it. We had hooks in one side of her mouth and the other side hooks are in the other. She absolutely T-boned that bait. A little 40 inch, little 40 inch fish. Good fight. Good little scrapper. Let's go find her, uh, her big sister or her mom. Second fish in this little shallow weed spot that we just pulled up into. Um, as Eric said, I, I don't know, we may, probably made 10 more casts since Eric had that one on. And I switched on um, to the new baby girl that we're gonna let out this January. Just burning it, smoking it over top of the weeds. Shallow weed bed, boom, she ate it just like that. So get her unhooked and see what she looks like. Brand new bait, it's called the baby girl. Smaller than our show girl. It's got a shrink wrap hook on it. We're running a three quarter ounce weight. And a couple little blades. Fish seem to like it. It's a bait that you can burn. Really get it going, moving really, really fast. So, it worked. Pull this fish out for you and take a look at her. Another one of those like 40 to 42 inch fish. She's wild. Not very happy. All right. Pretty nice little fish. Mouthful of teeth. <laughs> Let's let her go and see if we can't get another one. One of the key points to this whole deal right now is we're on moonrise. And uh, 
as you can see, as you've seen through the whole video, moonrise, moonset, sunrise, sunset, and your majors and minors are really key. Goes to show another one on the on the moonrise. Let's see if we can't get another one quick. Good job. Good job. I thought that thing was going to eat that right out here and just flew it flying on it. All right, we're just uh, pulling in here to the dock quick to pick up Jason Hammernick. He's going to join us this evening. We've got Rick in the boat and Eric, and uh, we've already got a couple fish in the boat already. As you can see, the sun's starting to kind of set a little bit. We've got a couple more hours of light. We're going to see if we can't get a couple more fish in the boat. Coincidentally, uh, it was timed with a, with a major period today. So we had both things working in our favor where we had sunset at 645, we had a major at 640, and obviously with both of those strong influences close together, uh, we've got ourselves set up for a pretty nice evening of fishing, and as it turned out, that was absolutely the case. Another one comes in on the supermodel. Kind of an array of baits today. Hammernick's been in the boat for maybe 10, 15 minutes and he's already got the first fish in the boat. <laughs> what do you do? Number three for the day. We've got one on a cowgirl, one on a supermodel, and one on the baby girl. Good job, man. We're running the Musky Mayhem product line today. So far it's working out good. I'll let you lift this one out. Boat side hit, blind hit, huh? Uh -huh. Cool. I got a little prop mark in. Now we'll get it back here. Yeah, she was just dancing on the surface the whole time, just came right up to the top and just started working it. Cool. New spot, right at dark, and got it done. Good job, Eric. Let you pull her out of the bag and we'll take a look. There we go, slow rolling purple gold. First cast on the new spot. Bump, bump, and then she finally smoked it. Nice little 40 inch fish or so. Throw her back and see if we can find her mama. Ready to roll. And as we move from you know, kind of that pre-sunset period to you know the sun finally down, and as we're nearing that first dark, uh, we still had a bit of light yet, and that 51-inch fish came up and you know absolutely clobbered that double cowgirl. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Where are you at, buddy? That's the 
the one. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Mad. Yeah, some good head shaking going on down there. That's a big one. That's a big one. Alright, cool. Very nice. She is feisty. Really nice big fish. Well, we just buttoned up the first night. Um, did really, really well. I think we ended up with five fish. Um, the last one, great kicker fish for the film. A nice 51 inch fish on the Purple Junior. We're gonna be back tomorrow, hopefully getting some more fish. We'll see what happens. It's getting a little bit buggy out here. We're ready, we've got some hungry guys in the boat. So let's see what, uh, see what tomorrow brings us. Day two, uh, Brad and I uh, decided to try another lake in the area, a pretty well-known body of water. The number of big fish coming during these minor feeding windows is uh, actually pretty startling. Um, why that is, you know, we could talk and come up with a hundred different reasons for it. Here's one big one. Come on. Got it? But uh, there's, there's enough of it happening and enough uh, activity and, and, and catches happening on this minor period where it's more than just coincidence. Holy bucket, bro. Look at that fish. <laughs> really nice fish. Awesome. Good job, dude. <laughs> way, way cool. That's a beautiful fish. That's a big, fat fish, too. Big, heavy, heavy fish. Purple, purple gold double cowgirl. We uh, had a pretty slow morning and uh, came back out here after lunch a little bit fishing this break line. Kind of bringing her in a medium retrieve. We've been doing some slow rolling these baits and getting a few fish and just kind of picked up the speed a little bit this afternoon to see if that might get one going in here and, and uh, she worked. It's actually pretty funny. Brad gave me this bait and, and she's kind of making that special little grind and I bet I told him 10 minutes ago we're gonna get a uh, fish on this bait today and. We, uh, we got the right one, so let's take a look at this fish here in this bag and give you a look at that fish. All right, we just measured her up. Beautiful, heavy, thick, beautiful 52 inch musky. Purple gold, double cowgirl, boat side hit. She came in behind us, started charging as we got to the boat, and she ate it on that first turn. Big open mouth, scarf the bait. Uh, it's, it's about as good as it gets right here, folks. We're gonna put this fish back and uh, and uh, see if we can get a couple more fish like this. Absolutely beautiful fish. Big girthy fish. All right, let's let her swim. Thank you, girl. Give you a sense how wide that fish is. She's ready. Girl. All right, we used to let that big beautiful girl go. Um, as I mentioned a second ago, tough bluebird conditions and you kind of get stuck in a pattern. Try a little bit different, add a little speed, take off a little speed, whatever the case is. and. Again, uh, awesome fish with just a slight modification in terms of what we were doing. So 
we, uh, we've got plenty of day here left and we certainly have the evening bite coming on which has been good for us so hopefully that's not the last fish we see for the day and we're going to go back at it here and see if we can't pick up a couple more. Purple gold again. Just getting down here to like the last two hours of light. And uh, Eric had one come up and just whack it on the boat side again. Nice. There we go. Real nice fish. Nice belly on her too. Big healthy fish. He's, he's like the fish we caught earlier today. Nice full stomach. Real healthy fish. Great little fight. And again, real cool hit. Saw her flash and back on it in a second. Let's put her back and let's get another fish here. Right, right at prime time here. You can just see that fish. Normal back and big belly on her. Thanks, buddy. All right, just let that 43-inch fish go. Um, again, more or less a tough day. You hard, hate to say that with a couple fish in the boat, but we're not seeing the, the numbers of the fish we've been. But uh, we've got a couple nice fish here that have bit, and uh, certainly we'll take that any day. Again, purple gold, double cowgirl, a little bit more speed over the tops of these weeds, sitting on these deep breaks, and. Uh, Again, pretty typical pattern for this time of the year for the body we're on, and um, you know it's it's been uh, again a long long time between fish, but it's good to have a couple biters any day. So let's get back at it. Sun's just about to go down uh, over the trees here, and again it's been a good time for us here on this lake, and uh, we're gonna get back at it and see if we can't get another fish here. Um, you know I, I've got this theory I joke with 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 Brad and with Jason and these guys that uh, it's a lot more fun to catch fish and not catch fish, and you know these two days is. Testament to that, seven fish in the boat. We had an absolutely fantastic time. Uh, and again, thanks to Brad and, and Muskie Mayhem Guide Service.